with the first pick in the 2012 NBA draft, the New Orleans Hornets select Anthony Davis. Before Anthony Davis would request a trade for the New Orleans Pelicans, which would see him being sent to the LA Lakers in exchange for Lonzo Ball, Josh Hart, Brandon Ingram, and three first round picks, including the fourth overall pick in the 2019 draft. I mean, just imagine LeBron teaming up with this guy. Before Anthony Davis would be drafted first overall in the 2012 draft by the New Orleans Hornets, now known as the Pelicans, and go on to be named to the NBA All-Star Game six years straight, winning All-Star MVP in 2017. Scoring game, they almost dropped 200 points. And MVP to Anthony Davis, 52 points, you gotta give him the MVP. Before Davis would trademark the phrases fear the brow and raise the brow. I also want to ask you about your trademark, the unibrow, and I heard you actually did get that trademark, is that actually, that's a true story? Yeah, yeah, it's a true story. Before AD would score 50 points against the Denver Nuggets, sitting behind only Michael Jordan for most points by an NBA player in a season opener. Anthony Davis is considered to be one of the best, if not the best center in the league. He's usually compared in conversation with the likes of Joel Embiid or DeMarcus Cousins. The only difference between them and him? deep runs in the playoffs. Although it seems the Warriors have always been AD's kryptonite, knocking his Pelicans out in the first round of the 2014-2015 season, and the second round of the 2017-2018 season, I have a feeling the odds will be in his favor with the Lakers and LeBron. In this video, we'll cover AD's rise to becoming one of the greatest centers in the NBA, talk about his twin sister who he's got more than a foot of height on, an alleged bribe that would persuade where Davis played college ball, and what his future with LeBron is projected to look like. What's going on guys? My name is Jared Bronstein and welcome back to Before They Were Famous. In our last video, we talked about Kevin Durant and how his injury could affect him moving forward. You guys requested this video now that AD's been traded and as always, keep sending your requests in the comments down below. Now we always start our videos off with a little trivia question. So I want to know whose record did AD break when he won the All-Star MVP, putting up 52 points in the 2017 game. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys after the intro. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Anthony Marshawn Davis Jr. was born on March 11, 1993 in Chicago, Illinois and is one of three kids to Anthony Davis Sr. and Irainer Davis. Davis's older sister Aisha played basketball at Daly College and his twin sister Antoinette decided not to follow her older sibling's footsteps. I know I said that he had a twin sister, which he does, but AD is actually older than Antoinette by a minute. And I'm not sure what impact that minute had on their growth, but it could be the reason why AD is 6'10 and his sister is 5'8. Anthony's dad is 6 foot 3 and mom's 6 foot 1, so it's no surprise Anthony Davis is tall, but no one thought he'd grow to almost 7 feet. In fact, back in his high school days when Davis was a freshman, he was only 6 feet tall and most coaches considered him the little guy who would shoot threes from the corner. However, that didn't stop Davis from playing ball, who idolized the likes of Tracy McGrady, Allen Iverson, Kevin Durant, and Kevin Garnett growing up. AD played high school ball for the Perspectives Charter High School in the Blue Division, which is the Chicago Public High School League. While playing for Charter High, Davis and his friends would practice their skills at a nearby church because their school didn't actually have a gym. Life lesson here for you kids, never give up. By the time Davis would reach his junior year in high school, his growth spurt would see him towering over kids at six foot seven. At this time, his parents considered moving him to one of Chicago's more well-known basketball schools, including High Park, where one of Anthony Sr.'s good friends, Donnie Kirksey, coached the basketball team. Kirksey advised against moving AD, telling his parents, I quote, He's a solid kid. If you're good enough, they'll find you wherever you are. AD was definitely good enough. I mean, look at him in high school. But after his team went 8 and 15, he didn't get the attention most thought he would, receiving only one scholarship from Cleveland State. It wasn't until April of his junior year when he would play for the mean streets of the AAU league and grow a few more inches that the college basketball scene would catch wind of 6 foot 10 Anthony Davis. Eventually, AD would make the commitment to play for the Kentucky Wildcats, turning down offers from DePaul, Ohio State, and Syracuse. His decision actually came down to the school with a good basketball program that would also allow him to focus on his academics. In fact, he actually wanted to go to a school that would help him focus on his major, which would be something in recreational sports, allowing him to be a basketball coach. I want to be a uh, high school coach, so probably like recreation and sports, or I could be a uh, PE teacher. So I want to, uh, they got to have my major and they got to have a good, you know, 
okay, back up on this. However, before Davis would officially commit to Kentucky for college ball, there were rumors that he was being persuaded to sign with the Wildcats after being offered $200,000. The story was originally posted by the Sun Times, a local Chicago newspaper, who claimed that Anthony's dad, Anthony Sr., said his son would sign to the school with the highest bid. Anthony Sr. shut down the claim, saying, I quote, We haven't asked anyone for anything, and no one offered us anything. The article, which was posted on their website, would then be edited before being taken down. Kentucky went as far as sending a letter to the Sun Times demanding the story be retracted, threatening legal action if they did not comply. Anthony Sr. also threatened a lawsuit, but the Sun Times eventually took the article down. Although no one ever actually filed a lawsuit, the Sun Times did stand by their original report. On August 13th, 2010, Davis would verbally commit to Kentucky and eventually sign his national letter of intent on November 10th, 2010. But before he played college ball, Davis would show the basketball world he was the real deal, playing in the McDonald's All-American game and the Jordan Brand Classic game, winning co-MVP in the latter after putting up 29 points, 11 rebounds, and 4 blocks. Davis was the second highest point total in the first 10 years of the Jordan Brand Classic, behind LeBron James who put up 34 points. Heading into his first and only season with the Kentucky Wildcats, AD was already being mentioned as a potential first overall pick in the 2012 NBA Draft. After leading the Wildcats to a perfect 16-0 conference record, AD would help them reach the conference championship as heavy favorites to win. They would end up being upset and losing to the Vanderbilt Commodores, but would still earn the number one seed overall in the men's NCAA basketball tournament. Over the course of the Wildcats' six NCAA tournament games, Davis averaged 15.2 points, 11.2 rebounds, and 4.6 blocks per game, helping his team win their eighth straight NCAA championship. Davis would also go on to win a total of 12 awards, including the 2012 Sporting News Men's College Basketball Player of the Year, the Naismith College Player of the Year, and become the second freshman ever, behind his idol Kevin Durant, to win the Associated Press College Basketball Player of the Year award. Davis would also break NCAA records by totaling 186 blocks on the year. He even had more block shots per game than most NCAA Division I teams. Not players. Entire teams. On April 17, 2012, Anthony Davis announced he was going to declare for the 2012 NBA Draft. I'd like to thank you know, my family, uh, God, friends, you know, everyone who helped me you know, make this decision. Uh, I'd like to thank the University of Kentucky enough for giving me an opportunity to play for them. Days before the draft, Davis, who knew he was going to be a star in the league, decided to get the terms Fear the Brow and Raise the Brow trademarked. Safe to say it was the right call. AD told CNBC in an interview, I quote, I don't want anyone to try to grow unibrow because of me and then try to make money off of it. Me and my family decided to trademark it because it's very unique. Davis also said people would always tell him to get rid of it, but he refused because it got the people talking. What a smart guy. Really, it's a good basketball player and a good businessman. Now, as you guys know, he was then chosen as the first overall pick by the New Orleans Hornets, who would later change their names to the Pelicans. Davis would then go on to dominate in the NBA, being considered one of the best centers in the league, right up there with the 76ers Joel Embiid and the Golden State Warriors Boogie Cousins. And when you're one of the best, well, you know the endorsement deals are going to come rolling in. As of now, AD has endorsement deals with Nike, Foot Locker, Saks, and Red Bull, who he teamed up with to play an April Fool's Day prank. In case you guys don't recall, Davis posted a video on his Instagram back on March 31st, 2018. It showed AD with a Red Bull's towel on his shoulder, shaving his unibrow. Right as he's about to shave it off, the camera falls down. He picks it up to show the unibrow, just be two regular eyebrows. But here we go. A little bit of this. Let me put this. All right, make sure it's on there good. And here we go. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. My bad, guys, but it's done. Y'all tell me what y'all think of it. It's a big change. I think I like it. The next day, Davis posted this photo to Instagram with the caption, Come on, y'all. Y'all knew I wasn't cutting it. Hashtag April Fools. Hashtag got y'all. Now, although Davis isn't officially a Laker just yet, a trade agreement was announced between the Lakers and Pelicans to send Anthony Davis to Hollywood in exchange for almost the entire Lakers team. The trade will become official on July 6th when the new NBA season officially begins. At the time of this recording, the Lakers are now the favorites to win the 2020 NBA championship. I mean, the Raptors just won. They're having their parade. Like, can we just give it to them for a little bit? I want to know what you guys think of Davis and LeBron teaming up in the comments right down below. And to answer our trivia question that we started off with this video, whose record did AD break when he won the All-Star MVP putting up 52 points in the 2017 game?
Well, it was none other than Wilt Chamberlain who put up 42 points in the 1962 All-Star Game. All right, guys, I'm wrapping this video up here. My name is Jared Bronstein. If you guys haven't subscribed to our channel yet, be sure to do so right now. Also, be sure to check out some of the other videos we handpicked for you guys. You can find me on social media at Bronze7, and I'll see you guys in the next video.